All right, Mountain Dew, it's time to stop. Ubisoft, it's time to stop. Mountain Dew is ruining gaming. Well, The Division 2's private beta, which starts in January, has made a bit of a splash with its partnership to, that's right, Mountain Dew. Want to get into that private beta? Well, you've got to order a case of Mountain Dew's new energy drink. I'm not kidding. Ubisoft is the new Doritos Pope. Step over, Jeff Keighley. Your title has been taken where if you, you, know, you buy Mountain Dew or you buy Doritos, you actually get a code, which then you go to the website like DoXP or DoritosXP.com, and you enter that code and link it to your gamer tag, and you actually get experience in the game, um, which is, you know, has a limit to it, and it's not like you're invincible in the game. It gives you that little sort of first boost in the game, and that's, it's cool. I mean, you unlock some new armor, you get to do some different things. Don't be stereotypes, gamers. I mean, do be stereotypes, gamers. Buy Doritos and Mountain Dew. That's right. I love these products. Bye now. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. Well, you could argue that the double XP was annoying because it gave players an unfair, you could say, advantage during the launch week, but things would generally level out eventually. Now we see Ubisoft with their Division 2 basically, in my opinion, charging 20 bucks to get into the beta. In a move unlikely to surprise anyone, Ubisoft has teamed with Mountain Dew and Walmart to reward players with access to Division 2's private beta. The only way to be rewarded, however, is by pre-ordering Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel for the purchase co to count towards private beta access. Those interested must purchase a 12 pack of the beverage online via Walmart's website. I confirmed it. Here it is $20 for 12 cans of sugar. Um, I'm guessing that, what does that work out to be? Well, 11 cents an ounce. So the cans, you know, it's, it's just sugar water. I mean, it's, it is what it is, but yes, it truly is being marketed that way. Bundle includes beta access to the division two. You are charging people $20 because let me tell you something, people that want to play in this beta are going to buy this. I bought it as a meme. It will be here in January and we're going to do a taste test of Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel. And I'm sure it's going to taste delicious. But that's right, here's the website on Ubisoft. Confirm your private beta access with Game Fuel. Enter your code you received after purchasing Game Fuel cans to get access to the private beta. Now, this money is not going directly to Ubisoft. What this is is some sort of you know, way for Ubisoft to kick back to Mountain Dew in some sponsorship, some co-sponsorship. You can also see it available on Amazon, but you're not going to get that awesome exclusive beta access for your $20. I mean, imagine a world. Imagine. Just take a trip down the road here with, with, with Jeremy and imagine a world where you would pre-order energy drinks in current year imagine you would ever pre-order energy drinks the article continues there are four flavors of the beverage that apply to this particular promotion and they are charged berry burst charged berry blast charged original dew and charged tropical strike mm, interesting name each 12 pack costs 20 bucks essentially players will fork over 20 dollars for private beta access. Those lucky enough to be one of the first 1,000 or pff, lucky, I'm sorry, but buying an energy drink, a case of energy drink I don't want or need is not called being lucky, it's called being exploited. We'll also receive a bonus prize pack, which is valued at $25. What the game bonus is to include is remains to be seen. 
According to Walmart's Game Fuel webpage, the drinks and bonus pack will be shipping on or around January 15th. Ubisoft is in charge of supplying players with beta codes via email. Interestingly, the above promises do not note when the private beta will launch. Only that Walmart's website reads, Ubisoft will communicate game launch information at a later date. Apart from the recent launch of a technical alpha, details regarding the beta sessions of any kind have yet to surface for Division 2. This is despite the publishers allowing players to register for beta access following the sequel's presence at E3. For those keeping track of the Division 2's marketing, this Mountain Dew news warrants a special spot alongside the game's laundry list of pre-orders and special editions. That's right. Pre-orders, bells, and whistles announced for Division Tom Clancy's, I'm sorry, The Division 2. We've got the standard edition. By the way, kids, don't pre-order. Never pre-order. In fact, I would go as far to say at this point to not even buy most games, and I mean 99.9% .9 of games, on launch month. You are far better to wait to get the patches in. You're just going to have a better experience. Look, there's for every Red Dead Redemption 2, which wasn't without its bugs, there is a million Fallout 76s, and there's really no reason, other than the marketing ploy on fear of missing out, to purchase a game at launch. You've got a Gold Edition, which includes the Division 2 three-game early pass, with the game starting March 12th on 2019, and a one-year pass, which comprises a seven-day early access to all year one episodes. Then you've got, of course, the Digital Ultimate Edition. Hopefully, there's no canvas in it, because I hear there's a worldwide shortage. It includes Tom Clancy's The Division 2 game, with a three-day early pass starting March 12th, a one-year pass, three additional digital packs, great, and a Battlestorm Secret Pack and First Responder Pack. Ubisoft also unveiled the Dark Zone and Phoenix Shield Collector's Editions at Ubisoft Collectibles Standard Figurine, Standalone Figurine. Tom Clancy's Division 2, 3A Pass, a Ubisoft Collectible High End Sixth Scale Articulated Figurine of Brian Johnson. Other high end physical items. No, 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 no. Don't buy this stuff unless. You literally don't want your money, all right? Unless you are an absolute diehard fan, there is one, no reason to pre-order these games. Two, to purchase these ultra super premium editions because we've seen the way that game companies treat customers that do purchase this. Now, of course, ultimately, I don't have a problem with the Doritos Pope shilling double XP for Mountain Dew and Doritos. It's just a meme. It's funny. It's sad, to be honest. But if there's any chance that this saves gamers money, then I'm a fan of it. Although, with developer greed, we can say that chance is close to zero. Now, with Ubisoft charging, basically, $20 to get into their beta... We've seen a new level of integration, and this is a problem. This is gatekeeping. Now, you don't actually have to give anyone access to a beta, but what's the next step? Buy two cases of, of our energy drink, and you'll get 10 days early access. Buy three cases, you'll get 14 days. This is where this is going, and it is a disgusting plummet down the hill of integrity for games companies as they continue to scramble and get every possible penny they can out of gamers' wallets through confusing early access and release date rollouts, super ultra premium uh, collector's editions, and now sugary energy drinks. What will they think of next? To be honest, kind of excited to see because you know it's going to be fun to make fun of. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Hey, super quick reminder for those fans of the Incredible Salt Mine, Bearing, and Count Dankula and myself's podcast, we will now be hosting that on the actual Incredible Salt Mine's main channel. Everything's sorted out there, so make sure you're subscribed to that channel. I'll pin it in the comment below so you don't forget. We'll see you tonight at 7 central time for the Incredible Salt Mine episode, I don't know, 20 or something. We'll see you there.